we'll just have a recap what we have done like in our last session so hmm. we have created the html page so html so how how we can create a file means just click a file and create a folder so we can create a we can create a doc folder so in that folder i have created a file dot html that's a html file dot css means css file so if in anywhere html file will be start from this doc type html if it is a html it's a single html file means normally this is a uh, this uh, doc type html this is the starting of html page so after that html tag this is the start tag and end tag in between these start tag and end tag we will write all the code uh, what to write in our the html page so header tag header tag we include the title of the page and if you want to create any link between here what i have done means i have created a link between this css file and also html file and also we have a different uh, like if you want to write a content means we have a different tags will be available so uh, div tag and paragraph tag and this is the for the head uh, heading tag and span tag image tag to include the image so if you want to include any image means we'll use this image tag that a tag will be for the uh, like sorry image tag for the image include in, include image a tag for uh, if you want to create a url to any uh, Content means we'll go with this a tag. And these are all called attributes of HTML. So how it will be means if I click here, if I click with open with live server. It will open image tag. So this is the list tag. So these are the important tags we want. Uh, we will we want to learn the LWC. So how we can connect these CSS file with the HTML file means so by using link grill style sheet the href. This is the uh, like name of the file. My name my file name is hello world .css, So the dot slash the name of the file. So by using this syntax, I can link with my CSS file with this HTML file. So now today. What we are going to see means, so how we can do the stylings by using CSS. What are the different concepts available in a CSS? So what are the concepts we have to learn, uh, like to create a LWC components so that I, we are going to concentrate on that concept only. So this is the CSS file, right? So I'm going to style some of my content. So here. I'll remove this content. I'll try to create another content. Sorry. We'll create a div. So div. So previously what we have, let's, let's discuss. First of all, let's create a div content. So in this div, I want to like, hello everyone. Hello every. One. We have already created a connection between this CSS and HTML. Here, the dot is showing, right? That means we are not like some content is not saved. So this is the dot is indication of this file is not saved. I've saved it, so the dot was gone, right? So let's open this. So now we have created a content. So hello everyone, it's showing in a blue. Why? Because in a CSS for the div, I have given like. I have uh, given the, like I have styled the div content for blue. So that's why it's showing in a blue color. So for high, H1, I have given the color as aqua. So H1 is heading. So I have removed it. So it's not showing anything. Let's remove this also. Right. I'll create another div now. Right. Div. Good morning. Good morning. Right. Now, if you see, hello everyone is in a blue color. And also, hi, good morning is also blue color. So I want to differentiate with the color because I don't want these two in a blue color. I want this div content as a different color. So what is the what is the solution? Anyone? Here, whatever if here because 
in a div content. So I have uh, for the div, I have for all the div content, I have styled it as a blue color. So that's why in between, uh, if, if I've used this div, div block means, div tag one. means. Hmm? Div one. Okay. No, no div one, it won't work. So for that, we have to use a username and also like uh, class uh, uh, tags we use. So we'll sh I'll show you how to do that. For example, in this div, ID and also class, two things will be there. Let's see, let's open this. Hmm. So normally CSS stands for cascading style sheet. Uh, mostly it will be used for style the web pages. So I will already see like how we can uh, style the content. Uh, this is a selector element. Selector element means whether it's a div, paragraph, or whatever the content, what in which tag you have write the content, that is some nothing but selector and property. What you want to do, whether you have to color it or you have to border it or you want to do the font size that is comes under this property, value well, should be what color like that. So these are the explanation. So we have different selectors will be there. Right, so these are the common selector will be used, whether we are using the P tag means P, P, P tag and also color and blue. There is something called username, ID selector and also class selector. Let's see what is mean by this ID selector. So this is the syntax for that. Let's go back and see what is mean by ID, ID selector. For example, ID, I'll use the ID is equal to, I'll give some username like I'm giving my name, 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 right? Hi, good morning. So this is what right. So now just come here. Here, hash Lakshmi. Yes. I'll give the font size. I want to make this as a different font size. Like my font. So font size should be with thirty pixels. Thirty pixels. So then. Color should be like I'll give the green color. Color is green. It's green. Right. So now this is also div content. This is also div content. So how I can differentiate it by using a username? Here I have sorry by using ID. Because here I have given some ID, my ID is Lakshmi. So, so wherever you use this Lakshmi, like Lakshmi styling means, so, so this will be visible. This styling will be visible. Right? You get, for example, your the div, another div content. So, ID is equal to same Lakshmi. Hello. This is another div, right? Right. Same content because we have for the Lakshmi, um, uh, like selector ID, we have given some some sort of styling. So if you want to do the same styling, means wherever you want this same styling, we can use this username. If whatever it is, whether it's a Lakshmi or something, whatever you want, you can give that name. Okay, so this is something called ID selector. Did you understand what is the use of this IDs? Guys? Yes, ma yes. Right. Yes. Okay. So next thing is there is something called so ha hash username. The username is I have given my name. If you want, you you can give your name like that. So this is the syntax. So sec sec next thing is class selector. So what is meant by this class selector means? Uses the class attribute as well as HTML element to, to select a specific element. Same thing, this class selector also has the same functionality, but the syntax will be different. The syntax will be different. Let's start. So normally we'll use this uh, username. We can use both username and also class sel selectors, uh, but mostly uh, use class, I think. Is based on the uh, like styling. Uh, some some people can use this username, or some people can use this uh, class selector. So, for example, here I'll use this p tag. No, oh, no problem. We'll use this div tag only. So div. Mm. Yeah. 
class. Previously, we will use ID, right? Here, we have to use the class. Normally, in LWC, we will use this class selector. We won't use the ID mostly. We will use class selectors. So. In this class, we will use whether we can use like the users one. Just use class selector example. So, this. so here we have given the class, but we have to style it right from here. So for select the class selector, we'll use the dot operator. For here, for the ID selector, we have to use the hash. For dot select, uh, like for class selector, we have to use the dot operator. The name is like okay. mm, here. I want to give like I long. I'll give the border. The border is eight eight pixel, eight pixel, and uh, it's solid. Uh, the color should be yellow. Let's give this as See? So here, I have not given anything. So the color of the font is blue. Because, because here for the div, we have, uh, like, we have given the blue, right? So that's why it took the blue. Why? Because I have write this code inside of div tag. So that's why it will take the color as blue from here. Right here, I have given what I have given in this in this uh, selector, string selector. I have just given the border and also color of the border and whether it's solid and size. So that's why, for example, here I'll, I'll um, use the font. Size is if I use the font size is 30. It will change. For example, I need the color. Color of the is black. Right? So that will change. Here I have not given any color. So that's why it will it will take the uh, like default div color. If I've given something means it will take whatever this uh, in this selector, what are the stylings will be there, it will be applicable to that content. Did you understand this one? Yes. Right? Uh, when right? we use class, we have to mention dot, right? And when we use class, uh, uh, we need to do dot, and when we use the ID, uh, we, we use hash. 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 Okay. So, right. Normally, we'll use class, like how we can use means we have a third party lightning design system will be there. So, for that, we we no need to create this CSS all. If you want, we can create there. Mostly all the styling will be in a HTML. We we'll use this class selector only. So I'll I'll show you what it is now. So did you understand these things now, right? So what yes. you have to know means how we can style the content. So normally we'll use the font size things and also color and also border. So many things will be available. These things will be important when we learn about the CSS. So next important thing is. There's something called lightning design cdnjs.com. Here, lightning, lightning design. Ah, this one. So, design system, Salesforce lightning design system. So, here, what we are doing means we have to, for example, here. We are just creating a, like it's not a li lightning web component. If you are creating a lightning web component from the org means there, you no need to uh, like uh, link with this website. Here, this one is a thought, this one is a normal HTML page. If you want to link this lightning, Salesforce lightning design system to this page means we have to link this URL here. Then only we can able to use it. But when we create a lightning web component, it won't be like that because when we create a lightning web component, three files will be 
created automatically. First one is the HTML, second one is the um, like uh, JavaScript file, third one is the meta file. So that CSS is it's already embedded in that Lightning Web component. So no, you you don't need to include or copy that uh, URL there. But this is the simple HTML page so that. So if you want to uh, uh, like apply the styles, lightning design system styles to this HTML page means first you have to like link this website with this HTML. Then only we can do that. So this is the site, lightning design system. If you want to copy, here we have to copy the link. I just copied it. So how you can link means previously we have linked this uh, like CSS file to HTML file, right? Same thing, same thing. There is no any difference. Let's come here. Link the relation equal to style sheet. It's equal to something. So whatever the link I have copied, I pasted. So it's the same two headshots. So now from here, Thank you. Now, let's open this Salesforce Lightning Design System. Salesforce Lightning Design System. Yeah. So this is the third party Lightning Design System. Let's type for utilities. So this other So. Let's come back here. With its alignments or borders. So, for example, see. So, if you want to make your content like this, means so this is the code for this class. So, this is something called class selector, which we have discussed, right? So, here this is the class. So, you have by using this class, we can directly use this formula. For example, let's let's the borders. So. So if you want to make your content like that, so border will be top means you have to use this, this styling, this class. For example, this should be have a right border. Sorry, right side you want a border means like this. If you want to make your content like this, so like that. So what are the uh, different stylings you require? We can get all the stylings from here. You don't need to like, uh, like by heart all these things and like that. So you can just come your uh, to Lightning Design Systems. We can directly copy here. Whatever the style we want, we can do that. For example, it's a boxes. So you, you want a box means you can use this box. Description list like that. You just go to here. You can get padding means. So this Different, 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 different styles will be there. Position, sizing, for example, text you want to make a changes. So you want to make the text, different text means different styles will be there. So here we can able to use anything you want. Now let's let's see how this uppercase.
the color figure. For example, buttons. So what type of buttons we need? So coloring of the buttons like that. So different stylings will be there. We have to, you just make it and, and just go into this lightning design systems. And let's explore, explore every style so that you can get an idea that when we have a requirement where you can go and how we can pick the styles, you can get an idea. If you know all these things, you just don't learn all these things. Just go one by one. Just see how the styling should be. Just open your Visual Studio code and let's try to practice it. So whether you can apply the, the styles to your data, whether it's it's coming or not, right? Did you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Guys? Right? <clears throat> yes. Let's yes. do that because you will get them uh, like uh, you can get easily when we get the requirement, you can get an idea that where we have to go and where we have which style you have to pick up so that you'll get an idea. So normally we will use all the stylings from this lightning design system only. We won't use mm, that CSS and all. So no, sometimes we'll use, but not that much we'll use. Normally we will make, get the uh, stylings from this lightning design systems. No. We can uh, we can use this uh, uh, tab in HTML means this uh, oh, sorry. we can uh, can we use this uh, all the functionality in uh, HTML file. Yes, we can directly use without that. creating the lightning yes, components. This. No, no, no. We can we have to create the lightning components. Lightning components is a combination of both HTML and JavaScript and meta metadata file, right? Not a CSS file. Right? We can directly I'll show you how we can include these lightning styling to the our uh, site, right? I'll, I'll show you how to do that. Without use of CSS, we can directly use the site styling. So we can style directly in a in our um, HTML itself. For example, for example, let's go to any text text. Uh, let's go to utilities. What is this utilities or also this one will be there. Okay, so this one see that is uppercase. That means so we can we can when we give the data in a small letters by using this style by the use of this style we can make that and we can showcase that in our uppercase. Let's use the styling. So see in our okay here we stop. It's a class selector itself. Why we are not listed by the Wait a minute. Because this is the HTML file. Yeah, so we without, can. No, without yes. creating... Without creating, without including the CSS, we can do it. Wait a minute. I don't think so. We have. Linked it properly. Let's open. Let's put this one out there. Normally, we won't do like this, but let's see.
Yes, if you uh, use the, uh, if you want to use this uh, lightning design system side in our HTML side, mm. we need to do the reference first, right? And then we have to use this. Mm. Yes. Side. Yes, normally HTML file, if you want to use it, we have to give the reference. If not, okay. we cannot use okay. it. And when we create the LWC component, there we need to do the yeah. uh, reference. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, okay. Got it. Thanks. It has to render. Exam, but I'll show you in our library design systems. Normally, it has to show. I don't know why it's not showing. Let's see. Maybe we have done something wrong in a LinkedIn or not. Okay. I don't think so. We have done anything wrong. Link hash reference C HTTP DFC. Security. Class origin. Okay. Okay. Wait a minute. Come back to our uh, lighting design system. Lighting studios. Let's create a component. I'll show you how you can use that. Create a new component. My component is. Hmm. Test component. Test is exposed. I want to expose this to the record page, app page, home page, uh, deploy it. So I have created a component, right? My is this test component. So when I create a lightning web component, so so the HTML file and the JavaScript file and the meta file, three files was created automatically, but I just created a uh, lightning component, right? So lightning component is combination of this. HTML and JavaScript. If you want, we can add a CSS. If not, means no problem. We can leave it. But for example, let's say my div tag. Let's open my div div tag. In this div tag, I want to give the. I want to make my. Um, this is my class. This is my content. This is my content. Control S. Deploy it. So I have deployed it. Just if I like in this Lightning Studio, if I just uh, control S, if I then save it, means it will automatically ask me to deploy whether we can able to deploy or not. Yeah, I have give, I have deployed it. So in our uh, in our org, it it already deployed. Oh. Edit page. Let's come here and edit this page. Edit this page. I'll include this test component so that you can move. What is the style we have applied there? This test. Where is that test? Oh, this way, this. Yes. Right. Here, see, this is my content. I have given that in, like, in small letters, this is my content. Like, it's a combination of both small and capital letter. 
but by using this style, so how it will be showing it all in a capital letters. Right. So it will be showing in my capital letters. So I cannot include the lightning component in a directly in a web browser. So that's why I'm showing here. But we can make it. Uh, I can able to show you here, but I don't know why whether the link is not working or something we can. Wait a minute. Um, let's, I've used for the like temp, right? Let's delete all this things. Let's, let's render this. This is the class selector example. There's some some issue with this link. I don't know what. Let's use another. Let's use another uh, style. Let's see that. Use this one. Let's see. HTML. Was same new uh, hello world dot css. Sorry, no, okay, I nothing. Saved it. Yes, saved it, but that link is not established. That's the reason. I don't know, maybe the problem with the URL. I don't know. Wait a minute, let's let's use the URL instead of the link. Let's use the URL. No, go to the URL. Okay. It was into working because. Yes, yes, that that link is not working. The URL is working. Here, see, right? Let's use another another. It's another try with that this style. Right, it's working. So this is the normal HTML file. So to to link that HTML with this style sheet means so we can use the URL. URL try to link that URL with this um, sheet so that we can able to. So if if you want to do that means if you if in this Lightning Design System what are the styles will be there you can able to use that in your HTML file without use of CSS. Right, if you are linked this uh, HTML with this third party Lightning website. But in our in our Lightning web component, we can directly use it. Okay, did you get it now? Guys? Yes. Yes. Okay, fine. Uh, next, there is something called inline CSS. So, what does that mean? Means, for example, let's remove this one. Let's remove this one. I'll create a div component. 
understood. Example for nine CSS. Nine CSS. Now, so we have for this div, we have we'll give some styling. Uh, div, I want to make the color. Color should be like blue. This example for a nice species. This is this is example for a nice species. Right, I have given the div component and color should be blue, so that's why it's in a blue. For example, what I want to do is here I will give some style. Style. It's called here itself. I'm giving style, not in a CSS file. Here itself, I can give color should be red. Make that as a red and one size. With one size, size, and it's it. Here I have given for the div, it's a blue. But but what happened? What happened means it override the this styling. So it, it means every time this inline, this is something called inline CSS. Inline CSS have the first priority. If you have write anything in the CSS file, if you have write any styling in an inline means the HTML page itself, you have done some styling means this is something called inline CSS. It, this See, um, styling has the first difference. Okay, did you get this one? So, okay. So we have three types of styling in a CSS. First is uh, internal CSS. That this was not used in LWC, so that's why we are not sure. We are not able to discuss this one. Next one is inline CSS and also external CSS or also third party CSS. So we have seen that third pop party CSS. That is something called Lightning uh, Design System, LDS, Salesforce Lightning Design System. Uh, so it's the, the same thing. External CSS is also same. Inline CSS or something which we have discussed just now. So here itself, we are giving the styles. This is something called in inline CSS. Most probably we'll use the, by using the third party Lightning Design Systems only, we can design, not using this CSS at all. Sometimes we'll use this inline CSS, but mostly we'll use by using third party lightning design system. Salesforce lightning design system only we can able to, we can uh, give the stylings to the font and coloring. So all the things we can do by using that. One. Okay. Did you get this one? Okay. Yes. What are I the things we have? This? Bootstrap. Huh. Bootstrap also can we use? Sorry? Bootstrap. No, we won't use that one. That like that one is a that's a different technology, right? You have mentioned uh, in PPT. Which one? In PPT, you have mentioned uh, third party tool that we can use. Uh, Where does uh, bootstrap and same? Yeah, no, no, no. In previous slide. Like, yeah, where's bootstrap? No, uh, no, we know in PPT. Fifth number slide. I'm I'm fifth not getting. Mm -mm. Go in fifth uh, fifth number slide. What it is? Can you please below, type? Below, below. Below. Your voice is breaking for me, so that's why I'm unable to understand. Wait, wait. Ah. Now I am audible. Yeah, yeah. Now. Go in fifth number slide. Fifth, okay. Hmm. 
no not this one previously you have mentioned a third party uh, ha ah, lightning design systems website third party yeah, the inline and outline yeah yeah that, that one inline means here this one yes yes external this is internal yes this is external css is something that is something called this one okay this the here bootstrap and yeah. salesforce lightning system business. yeah but yeah. but we won't use this one we will use mostly this one this i am i thought about the bootstrap different technology will be there right so that i mm -hmm. thought about bootstrap. this we will mostly use the salesforce lightning design systems okay okay so what it is This is inline CSS and also external CSS, right? So we'll use the site Salesforce Lightning Design System mostly. We won't use that much this one. Then inline CSS means we can design, we can give the stylings here itself. In uh, HTML page itself, you are doing some styling without without help of uh, uh, like the Salesforce Lightning Design System means. So that's something called inline CSS. But inline CSS have the priority first priority. If you have written anything. by using the css means it will override it will override this and uh, it will say it, it will show the inline css styles that's it this is about the css so what are the things we have discussed in the css so how we can link with css file with the html file and uh, how we can link the html file with uh, our third party uh, like size salesforce lightning design system how we can link the html page with the salesforce lightning design systems and also this one how by using this is uh, different thing, right how we can do the coloring and font size and also and most important thing is there is something called a uh, box model css box model what it is mean maybe i don't think so it will be available okay so what it is mean for example if you write something here go to google will be there right so this is the con content so in between these lines if you want to make any uh, like any a uh, space means that space is called padding right if you want to make any spacing between these uh, lines means that spacing will be called padding if you want to add a border in it means that something called border so after the border for between the content if you want to add any uh, uh, like uh, space means that's something called margin so we have something called box model thing I'll, like open the paint and then explain it what it is so that you can understand well content after the content we have a padding after the content we have a border after the after the border we'll have a margin for example let's see so if it is this is this is the border this is the border and here i'll write something content this is then right so this is some content so in between this border and also this content some space will be available right so that is something called a padding so this is the border after the border if if you want to include any spacing between the lines means that is something called margin this is margin margin so this is the content the space between this border and the content is called a padding and this border if we have write any content here means in between this border and also the line if you want any uh, like spacing means that spacing is called margin so that is something called css uh, box uh, box model i'll show you how to create that like how to create the uh, space between that let's now let's okay let's create any div content I am a content. I am a content. Yes, right. I am content. If now I'll have to 
this is give only right okay give tag only inside of it i'll use the padding that means padding means the spacing between padding is we we'll use the 16 pixel 16 pixel right so that means so in between these lines the space will be kept i'll use a border for it is the border as two pixels and also solid because for these two we have div, div right so that's why for this two the box will appear so now in between these there is no space and now what i'll do is i'll give some margin so margin is 16 pixel okay the space will be up there did you understand this one what is my padding what is the border what is margin guys yes no. So content after the content, the space between the border and the uh, content is called padding. So for this next line, for the next content, for this box in between that, if you want to include any space, means that space is called margin, right? So so this is about content, padding, border, and margin. So this is the sequence. First is con content after the content, the space should be like padding. After that, the border, after the border, the margin should be skin. So this is the um, a sequence of the box model. That's it. In this thing happens. Another thing we will see, uh, for example, here this is the div content, right? Mm, let's, for example, let's create and create a paragraph. So in this paragraph, for the class, I'll be using like A, B, C, let's use it, A, B, C. I'm creating some styling, like I'm paragraph, content, I'm paragraph. Uh, same thing, I'm creating another paragraph, but the class is X, Y, Z. Okay, right? Here, so I'm another paragraph, another paragraph, Right, I'm paragraph on another paragraph. Here I'm doing some styling for the three type. What is the class dot edition dot dot a a b c comma dot if you want to make same styling for those means border be one pixel and also solid. Okay. Then margin. I want to make the margin in the bottom. Let's see. 16 pixel. So for the ABC and also for XYZ, I can include the styling in a same, uh, by using same properties, I can include. That means by using comma, we can separate it and we can give the same styling to this different uh, classes. Did you get what I'm saying here? So this is a different class. This is a different class. The names also different. So for the different class, we can give the same styling also like that. Like that, we can give the same style, right? Did you understand this one? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. So that's it. That's it about the TCSs. Tomorrow we'll discuss about the JavaScript. What are the things we have discussed? Please just recap. So first we have created a term, like deep content. What are the different stylings will be available? Class selectors and also ID selectors. ID selector means by using hash hash that hash after the ID name we can style it. If it is a class selector means by we have to use the dot operator because here I've used the dot because this is the class selector. If I use the ID means we have to use the hash, right? So how we can use the how we can bring the third party the lightning design systems into this one. 
this normal html page uh, then how we can use the content which is uh, which is available in that uh, lds in the html page and also by using lightning web component how we can use that we can we have seen that also so how we can create the class selectors how we can click the id selectors how to get use of it and also we have seen the box model so content after that padding after the in the border of that margin so how we can design that how we can give the spacings and all so we have seen that today okay thank you for the